Hello everybody, happy Wednesday evening. I am doing a new video that I haven't done before, but this is going to be a video that I'm going to do at the end of every month from now on. And it's going to be called like what I've been using December for this month, December empties and just everything that I've used or finished up using in the month of like that I record it for this month, once again, December. So I just wanted to go over and just give you guys some idea of like in my life, what I use from Scentsy and um, it may seem like a lot but some of it is not all just for me some of it has been used for samples for um, customers or to get people possibly interested in Scentsy so I will start with all my stuff that I use to like clean and make everything smell fresh in the house this month so I finished up oatmeal and aloe Freshen Up Pup Spray, and it's dog deodorizing spray, and I'm not gonna lie, this is like, one. I think I think I got this like two months ago or so. I want to say this lasted a really long time because I don't use it every single day, but like especially like you can spray it on your dog's fur after they come inside if it like smells bad outside, especially in the summer. Dogs can smell kind of stinky when they come inside. But um, you can spray it on their fur in between baths or you can spray it on their bedding or anywhere that dogs lay. If you have carpet in your house like I do, in this new house we are in, there's a lot of carpet compared to my old house. A lot of it was wood floors and stuff. So I definitely like to spray this on the carpets just to like make sure my house doesn't smell like too much dog or anything. We have five dogs now so this is definitely needed. But this is in the oatmeal and aloe. And um, I just want to share that I used this this month, and I really, really liked it. It's not overpoweringly strong. It's very nice. Then I got Counter Clean. I, I used Johnny Appleseed. This is one of my, this is my actual favorite Counter Clean um, cleaning scent, Johnny Appleseed. If you like the smell of fresh apples, this is amazing to try. And then next we have our bathroom cleaner. I have Squeeze the Day. Um, oh, and by the way, so the counter clean probably lasts me a month. I use a lot of it, honestly, because kids, dogs, lots of spills and stuff. So, yeah. But then the bathroom cleaner, my bathroom cleaners honestly could last me up to like one to two months, depending on how often. I usually clean the bathrooms thoroughly once a month. And this is in, um, sorry, not once a month, once a week. <laughs> once a week. And so about four uses a month I use this or if I am low on counter clean I will use this, this as a backup and it works just as well but this is squeeze the day so if you love the pine saw lemony fresh no, smell this is a this is perfect this is option a for you oh, this is game. um that's not a game buddy yeah, it is. it's not yeah Matthew's convinced there's a certain game that he wants to play and um it's a zombie game and it's not really a game. It's like a website that advertises a game, but like he thinks he can download it and he really can't. So, I can't play no, you have to play a different game, okay? Mommy's on a video. You want to help me show what I'm showing? Can you play a different game, honey? Can we wait till daddy gets back and we'll have daddy help us? So, um, next we have Scentsy Fresh, which is like your go-to, like you want to freshen up a room, you want to spray it on curtains, carpets, couches, beds, pillows, blankets. It just gives such a fresh smell to your house, to the items that you sit on or lay on, and it's amazing. So, this is Scentsy Clean. There are lots of different scents in this. Um, I personally... Um, Scentsy Clean is pretty good. I actually prefer Clothesline better than Scentsy Clean. And I'm also using Amazon Rain for the first time Bye. in Scentsy Fresh right Bye. now. And I Bye. prefer that over the Scentsy Clean scent also. But this is just like a nice, fresh, clean scent. But I definitely think if you're looking for a fresh, clean Bye. scent, I would recommend Clothesline over this. But so I use this. And Bye. this will last you like over a month also. Zyra, please sit down, honey. Oh, geez, going live with children. Are you okay? Are you okay? And then we got um, dish soap. I have used up the very snowy spruce. This was just lemonade. Matthew, 
Please stop. Um, if um, this was limited time, this was in the holiday clean bundle. You got a counter clean, and you got a dish soap in this. So this is no longer available, but I use this. Definitely just smells like you're cleaning your dishes with like pine trees. It smells very good. Definitely gets you in like the Christmassy winter mood. So I think it was perfect for this time of year. I probably would not want to use it around um, another time of year because it's just like it just makes you think of Christmas trees or something or like pine trees. So, okay, next I used up the rest of my Villains Wax, which was from Halloween. Milk? Yeah, go drink your milk, okay? And do it the right way. Matthew's had two spills of milk today, so that's why I say that. But anyways, um, anyways, that could have been avoided, but you know. So anyways, I finished up my Villains Wax. It was a three-pack for Halloween. It had the Evil Queen. Just one bite, Maleficent, Mistress of Evil, and Ursula, Poor Unfortunate Souls. And so I'd already used up this one like a, actually like two months ago or so. But this three pack lasted me quite a while because I used it at Halloween. Then I didn't finish it all. And then I went back and like used it here and there. So I finally finished it up. So Halloween was in October. So it's like almost January. So this lasted me a really long time. Mama. And here are two of the other scents that were in it. The Poor Unfortunate Souls. This was a very berry strong strong is like zesty berry citrusy smell and this one is the um mistress of evil which was i think my favorite this one had some berry in it but i can't remember the exact description of this one i think this was my favorite though so i got it. so like i said i finished up my halloween collection wax which was super awesome. Can't wait to see what they do next year for Halloween, but I'm not rushing time because, you know, we want to enjoy what, all the time we have. So next I used Happy Holidays. This one is not available any longer. It was in a three pack of wax for the holiday collection. It's no longer available. And it just smells like sweetened, like not too musky, but sweetened, like Christmassy scents. Um, like Christmas tree scent. Um, it's like a sweet though. It's not like super, super strong. Please stop, Zyro, okay? And next we have Feeling Pine. That also came in the same collection with the last one I just showed. And it is more of a strong pine tree scent. For sure. Um, it's pretty good. Definitely a stronger pine smell though. Um, and that one is not available anymore either. Then we have brownie batter. And I love brownie batter. It just has like a very warm, like a warm hot chocolate slash like like pure cocoa powder that you use for like baking from scratch. That's what it reminds me of. It just has a very like warm chocolatey depthness to it. And so it's brownie batter. It's the it's a bakery scent. This one is available. Oh my, the kids, guys. Yes, Zyra. And cool, these are from man. my um, advent calendar. I got these samples that I used. And I actually did not use these for myself. I used these for customers. And just, like, letting customers try different scents. Because you never know what you're going to like until you honestly smell it. Like, you can read a description. But until you smell it for yourself, sometimes you just don't know if you're going to like it. So, I had breakfast in bed. This is a very amazing... It has like a warm cinnamony, like, but not too strong cinnamony, like just a spicy holiday scent. It smells so good. That one's available breakfast in bed. This is um dancing sugar plums we pulled. It's just like a I don't feel like this is a very over Matthew, please stop. I don't feel like this is a very high, um, like over like scented one. Like I feel like this actually does not like have a su super high performance, I guess, of scent. I feel like it's more of a soft scent. Has, why are you guys so hyper? And then, so there's like the plum smell. It's kind of sugary, but it's a light sweet smell. Of course, they act up. One second. They act up. Of course, when I'm on the video. Please stop, you guys, okay? Oh, yeah, there's Matthew. <laughs> He's um, interesting. And so, anyways. Next we have Cloudberry Dreams. We have Cloudberry Dreams and my mom loves this scent. It's a very sweet berry smell. 
but it's not overpowering. Like it's like a perfect balance of like sweet berry smell. And my mom, you can't play that game. And so it doesn't work that way, honey. And so this is a very good berry smell if you like sweet berry fruity smells. This is a really good go-to and a good starter. I feel like it does not kill you overpowering with the berry scent, which some can be very strong. And then this is Jade and Jasmine, which is actually, here's Ira, you want to sniff this, which is actually the scent of the month, and she's perfectly fine, she's just being silly. And so, um, this is the scent of the month for January, Jade and Jasmine. I did not use all of these personally. This is all for samples that are going out for sample mail that go with a brochure. And a lot of VIPs are getting them. And so, that's exciting. I can't wait for you guys to try the new January scent. And then we have um, Breakfast in Bed again, which I, I told you about in the small sample size. So, it's just a warm... Like bait, it's like a warm spice smell. If it's very good, it's very. It smells like it's a very comforting smell. I feel like a warm kitchen, like someone's been cooking in the kitchen all day. Smell, and um, that one is available. Breakfast in bed. This one is marshmallow mint cocoa. So one of my favorites, you guys. This is chocolatey mint. It smell. It smells exactly like an Andy's mint. No joke. Um, sadly, this one is only going to be available until tomorrow because then it goes back into the vault. So I'm actually adding this one um, to my Scentsy Club because I cannot not smell this. This one smells super super good. What are you doing, honey? You need to sit down. And then we have Cranberry Garland, which is an amazing Christmas scent. One of my favorite Christmas scents, I think. Because it's really well balanced. It's got like that cranberry sweet berry smell, but it also has like, I don't know, a warmth to it also. It's really kind of hard to explain. Like, I don't know the garland part really. Like, it doesn't smell like trees or anything like that. But it's just a very good, good Christmas smell, I think. And it's Cranberry Garland. That one is available um, it's not going to go out of stock right now. Then I have my Scentsy Pods for my diffuser upstairs, which is, um, you plug it into the wall and it just blows air through these little pods that are scented and they last you for quite a while. So I used Amazon Rain and it comes with two pods, but I only saved one to show you guys. It still smells super good. And so Amazon Rain is just an amazing fresh smell, very hard to describe, but it's one of my favorites. Amazon Rain what are you doing and then um i also had used aloe water and cucumber this smell is pretty good it's more of like the cucumber with the aloe water like i think it's a perfect description of how to explain what this one honestly smells like um it's, i don't know like it's just like i can't explain it necessarily it's just like aloe water and cucumber that's the best that i can say like it gives you cucumber vibes, like, it's fresh, it's good, I like it a lot. It's probably my second favorite pod to put into my diffuser. And then I have Marshmallow Mint, Bring Back My Bar, which is only available until tomorrow, you guys. And it's going back into the vault. It's a buttery mint smell, it's super good. It's not overpowering, pepper, overpowering peppermint it is like a buttery soft mint smell um and then we have cashmere pear definitely can smell the pear um if you've tried honey pear cider like i said before this definitely reminds me of that in a way with the pear scent it's very same way in the pear this also has like a perfumey smell to it with the cashmere it has like it's like a perfumey pear smell it's it's pretty good it's not bad and this is bring back my bar so it's only available until tomorrow and then um we have blue christmas which is no longer available it's pretty good I thought I would like it better. I liked it better in wax. I did not like it as much um, warming. It's kind of like manly, like manly smelling, masculine smelling, but with like pine trees in the background. It's a pretty good scent, but it wasn't one of my favorites, honestly. And then Mandalorian Air of Nature. This one's actually really good. And this one goes away tomorrow, too. It's more of a citrusy, fresh, like I say lemony 
citrusy smell but it's like really good it's not too strong it's not too overpowering i think it's very nice to have in your house like it's a really good one and i actually liked it even more than i thought i would warmed i warmed it for a few days so i actually liked it a lot and then there is um like i said the air of adventure is come here the air of adventure is leaving tomorrow a lot of these sadly are leaving tomorrow because it's the end of the year and a lot of these are from the holiday or fall collection so like they have to like be put in the vault for the new season coming out with the new catalog which is super exciting you guys i cannot wait to find out what is on the new catalog i don't even know and i'm a consultant so i am so excited this is with sale wonderland it's also no longer available it's sold out i think but it is like different it is like definitely a citrusy smell with like cinnamon it's like a citrus cinnamon it wasn't actually too bad i actually like it more than i thought it was i thought i would warming it then there's black raspberry vanilla this is a super super popular smell with a lot of scentsy people it is like it has an amazing like just black raspberry pure black raspberry raspberry smell has some vanilla it's just very good. This is very popular. A lot of people, I definitely have gotten people, like, a lot of people love yeah. this in their Scentsy Buddies for their scent packs. Zyra, please, honey. Oh, and by the way, Zyra's right here. She's going to be my helper. But anyway, I got Red Berry and Spruce. This also is no longer available. It's like soap. It's like clean, manly soap smell with a little bit of spruce in the background. It's not too bad. I didn't like it as much as I thought I would. Once again, I liked it better waxed than I liked it warmed, just to be honest with you guys, but it's not available anymore anyways um, at all. And then, so apples and oats, I have a little sample of. This is a very good, like, reminds me of like a caramelized sweet apple smell and so this was a little sample i pulled and i divvied it up for customers to try this one is best in snow sample that i got it has like a minty flair to it um it's not bad it's really good it's like it has like a minty flair to it like it's the best that i can describe it it is a winter scent and it is available um then i have i used fig cookie um, oil, and I, and this came in the holiday pack, no, holiday, maybe it didn't come in the holiday, no, it came in the Harvest Collection oil pack, so this is no longer available either, but this definitely smelled like fig, it smelled like sweet, oddly sweet fig, like it, dead on, like definitely an oddly sweet fig cookie smell, it wasn't too bad, but it wasn't my favorite oil, um, and then I used pineapple, coconut, vanilla, and, please stop, Zyra, vanilla hand cream and so this one is like super soft smell if you're not into like super high power scented like hand creams like if it gives you a headache to have a scent on your body or your hand for too long this is definitely a good one um it smells pretty awesome it just has like it has like a small pineapple a small pineapple smell with a very light coconut and light vanilla. Like I said, this is a very light go-to scent. Or if you know someone else that likes lotion and they like light smells, this is a really good, like, gift to give. Um, so it's pineapple, coconut, vanilla, hand cream. It's really, really good. I think it's a good go-to, and I think it's one that's going to be my favorite for a while. Because I don't want things to be so overpowering that I smell it for so long that it makes me, like, nauseous. And then I used apricot vanilla hand soap. This is a very, like, basic sweet, so it's called apricot vanilla. Maybe get a little vanilla, get a little apricot. It's, like, a basic sweet smell in a way, but it's not sweet enough. Like, I'm not going to lie, I'm be honest with you guys. I was kind of, like, underwhelmed by this um, hand soap's scent yeah, performance. Okay. Obviously, it worked great with cleaning your hands, but scent-wise, I was expecting more for the scent. Um, so, you know, I don't know if you really don't like a lot of scent in your hand soap. Apricot vanilla would be an amazing one to try for you. But if you're really wanting more of a scent experience when you wash your hands, like you want to smell what's on your hands, like when you wash them, it smells amazing. This one is really, really, really light. Like it's really underperforming to me. But I'm glad I tried it because then I know I probably won't get it again in the future. And I'm trying other scents to find which hand soap I'm going to like the most. So that sounded like a lot that I just, well, it was a lot that I just shared with you guys. I went from waxes to pods to hand soaps to oils and cleaning products and dog products. 
but um, a lot of this I had had for a long time in stock and I also like you have to take consideration I have tin warmers out right now because it's the Christmas season so I had like tons of different Christmas warmers out I probably won't have as many out throughout the rest of the year so I was going through a lot of wax to put just like um, wax and all tin every single day so that's why I went through so much wax and some of it was given away to customers like I said for samples but you know, it's I go through a lot of Scentsy. I am a Scentsy addict, and I can't deny it. That's why I'm a consultant. So I get perks for loving Scentsy. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And hopefully this maybe will give you an idea of something you might want to try. Or just, um, you know, just want to see what I use. Get you guys some ideas. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. I hope you have a blessed rest of your Wednesday. A blessed rest of your week. And um, yes, just thank you guys.